things. Today we are going to start Chapter 5 Advanced Features of Microsoft Word 2010. You have learned what is Microsoft and some formatting features as well as base setting option in the previous lesson. Now what is Microsoft? Microsoft Word is a word processor that helps you to create documents with a professional outlook. Not only provides the facility to type edit the text but also offers features to enhance the overall performance of the text. First is finding the text. When you are working with large documents, Word provides the facility to search your document using the find feature and change words or phrases using the replace option. To find a particular word or phrases in the current document, you have to just click on the find button in the edited group on the home tab. The navigation pane appears on the left side of the document window. Now type the text that you want to find in the search document text box and the top of the navigation pane. If the text is found in the document it will be highlighted in yellow color and a preview will be displayed in the navigation pane now after finishing the search word displays a message word has finished searching the document now click on the more button if you want to widen your search criteria second is second feature is replacing the text besides searching the text you can also replace the words or phrases with any alternate text to replace the text follow the given procedure what are the procedures just click on the replace button in the editing group in the home tab the find and replace dialog box appears in find what box type the text that you want to search for in the replace with box enter the new text to replace the existing text when the word has finished search searching for the word and has made replacement, a message box appears. Now click on OK. Replace button changes the current search text with the new text given in the replace with text box. Replace all button replaces all the search text with the new text at once. Find next button will highlight the next occurrence of the text that it searches. And cancel button is used to close the find and replace dialog box working with shapes shapes is a drawing feature that helps you to add various shapes like stars banners callouts connectors etc to your document with the help of these shapes you can draw attention and provide impact to the message select the insert tab and click on the shape button in the illustrations group. A drop down menu displays various options like lines, rectangles, basic shapes, block arrow, flowchart, callout, stars, banner, etc. Now select the shape from the drop down menu. Just suppose we have selected smiley faces from the basic shapes category. The pointer changes into crosshair symbol. Click and drag the mouse on the working area until the selected shape appears in the desired size. To rotate the shape, drag the green handle. When the shape is selected, a new tab named Format appears on the menu bar under the Drawing Tools category. Now to add a quick style to the shape, choose any option from the Shape Styles group on the Format tab. To display more styles option, click on the More drop down menu and choose any visual style for the shape or line. Using drawing tools, the drawing tool bar contains various options to form its shapes. Just suppose we have to create a hut. What we will do? We will select the line tool and draw the outline of the hut. To select the outline of the hut, hold down the shift key and click on each line individually. Now click on the shape outline drop down list in the shape styles group on the format tab. Select the weight option and click on 3 point line. To draw a door, select the rectangle tool and drag inside the hut. Now click on the shape fill tool in the shape styles group on the format tab and fill any color of your choice. Now change the outline color of the door by selecting the shape outline tool. Select the oval tool, oval tool and draw a window in a hut. To duplicate the 
other window use ctrl plus c for copy and ctrl plus v for paste as you know ctrl plus c is the shortcut key for copy and ctrl plus v for paste to make clouds click on the callouts option in the shapes list and select the cloud callout now drag the shape and fill gray color in it to display the rain shower, draw a line and then select the dashes op option from the shape outline tool present on the format tab and select the square dots and observe the effect. So your hut is ready in window and one dome and also it is having one cloud above it and it's raining. So to maintain the height and width ratio of a shape. Hold down the shift key while you drag the shape. Inserting word art. The word art feature allows us to create special text effects using word art. We can create decorative effects such as curve, wavy shadow, three dimensional etc. What do you have to do? Just select the text on which you wish to apply the word effect. Click on insert tab. Select the word art. Option in the text group. The quick style. Drop down menu will appear. Select any word art style from the displayed list. The selected style gets applied on the selected text. As you are able to see in the picture, see word art, different kind of words art. Word art. Are you able to see? So where you have to click where you have to click? You have to click on file menu and insert tab and then select the word art. Inserting clip art. Clip art is a gallery of pre-designed pictures that can be inserted directly in a document. Just to, you have to place the cursor where you want to insert a picture. Click on, click on the clip art button on the insert tab in the illustration scroll. The clip art task pane appears to the right of the document. Now type the desired keyword in the search for text box that is related to the image you want to insert. For example, you have selected computer and click on the go button. It will display all the click art images related to the computer. Now view the various click art images using the vertical scroll bar and click on the desired clip art image to insert it in the document. After inserting the image, close the clip art task pane by clicking on the close button. So where it is present, it is present and inserted in the illustration group. Adding watermark, watermark can be defined as a deem or faded impression of an image or text which is placed behind the text in your document. Word has a gallery of watermarks to choose from or you can create your own customized watermark such as company logo for doc document. Let us learn how to create a watermark. Just open the document in which you want to create a watermark. Select the page layout tab and click on the watermark drop down menu in the page background group. Select the custom watermark option. The printed watermark dialog box appears. Now you will notice that no watermark is selected by default. Select the text watermark option. Choose the language from the language drop down menu. Select the font size, style, color and layout of the font. Now type the text that you want to appear as watermark in the text box. Okay. Now applying the borders and shadings. To improve the appearance and legibility of the text, we can add a variety of border and shading effects to the paragraph and the entire page. Now select the text, click on the drop down arrow next to the bottom but, but border button in the paragraph group on the home tab. Select the borders and shading option from the displayed list. The borders and shading dialog box will appear and now set the border style. Choose the box option on the settings section. Select the line style under the style list box. Click on the drop down list of color option. Select any color. And now choose the line width from the width section. Click on the drop down list of apply to section and select the paragraph option. Click OK. Observe the change. So now I think border and shading you are able to 
see the here see in the pictures it is present under home, home tab in the paragraph group okay first you have to click home tab and then paragraph group inserting cover page ms word provides a gallery of pre designed cover pages what do you have to do to add cover page to your document go to the insert tab in the pages group and select cover page a built in gallery will appear click on the desired cover page layout the selected cover page will be applied to this document now click on the sample text such as type the document title and type the desired text to replace it so where you will find the page um, cover page just click on insert tab in which group pages group and select cover page whenever you want to apply pre design cover pages you just have to go in insert tab in the pages group and select the cover page and you will get so many inbuilt cover pages in that all you what you have to do you have to type the document title subtitle that's it now the brain developer the chapter is over so the brain developer for you fill in the blanks the dash is the dash key is used to maintain the height and width of a shape while you drag the shapes second dash is a gallery of pre designed pictures that can be inserted directly on the document third line basic shapes block arrows are the option of button four the dash feature is used to create special effects fifth a dash is a placeholder where text can be entered so hints are given class please do it in your copy solve it and go through whatever is taught whatever is explained in the video of chapter 5 learn it properly write it down